Hello, I'm Larson the Wolf, and I'm here to talk to you about Lumino City. Lumino City is a point-and-click adventure game that uses real handmade sculptures to create its world. Made by the indie studio State of Play, Lumino City was released in 2014 on iOS, Mac, and Windows for around $20. First off, it needs to be said that it is very much an art game that excels in its eye candy world and somber music. And that's about it. This is not a game with a high amount of gameplay depth, even by point-and-click adventure standards. However, if you're looking for a gorgeous, happy, and odd world to be lost in, and you also want a game with a variety of interesting puzzles, then you need to look into this game. And uh, just a side note, but I played this, as I do for nearly all my reviews, on PC, and so I can't speak to the quality of the iOS port. But enough beating around the bush, let's get right into it, shall we? Gameplay wise, Lumino City is a point and click adventure with very simple point and click item puzzles that are standard in these types of games. This sadly means they don't get too much more complex than get the key to open the box. But hey, on the bright side, there's not a single moon logic puzzle in the game. However, the gameplay really shines when you get into the more traditional puzzles, as they often varied quite a bit from one another. Being interesting and varied, I extracted plenty of fun from nearly all of them. Even the puzzles I was stuck on for more than an hour or more, I was still having a blast. They managed to make me happy when I was prompted with a new puzzle, which is impressive. Most games fill me with dread when I'm prompted with a puzzle. This is because most games overuse the same puzzle type, and by the time the 50th puzzle popped up, I'm kinda bored of it. The game's puzzles are all handmade as well, just like the rest of the world. Which is beautiful, by the way. Did I mention that? The entirety of the game is handmade. All the game's environments you run around in were made by artists and sculptors that State of Play contracted for the game. I have seen some games do this before, but Lumino City is by far the most artfully made of them. Some environments even had me inquiring about things like light source and items they used in the set. The sculptures they use as backdrops are just made out of the typical cardboard, paper, and balsa woods that you would normally use in uh, artful sculptures. That's all well and good, but what about the game's story? What are you expecting? Well, to be honest, it's kinda hollow and underdeveloped as compared to the rest of the game. The story starts off with Luma, your character and protagonist, meeting her grandpa after her adventures in Luma. Oh yeah, forgot to mention, this game's a sequel to Luma. Luma is a similar game with the same artistic use of environments. But don't worry, the game doesn't rely on the previous entry story-wise. Heck, before I did research for this video, I didn't even know it had a younger sibling to begin with, so don't worry about it too much, and if you like this game, maybe you should check that one out as well. Anyway, you're asked, via text only, as there is no voice acting in this game, to go get tea for your grandfather. As soon as you make tea, you hear a bane, and your grandfather yelling, To the city, Luma! You run upstairs to find out what is happening, only to find your grandfather missing. You begin to search outside for your grandpa, and you immediately discover a city on stilts. After some early on inquiring, you find that the city was maintained by someone called the Handyman, or as you know him, your grandpa. Knowing he's somewhere in the city, you scour the Wonderland looking for him. One thing I appreciated about the story was the fact that it never brought me back to another set piece. We were always moving on to new and wonderful sculptures the team had made. The story of the game is very weak. You really don't even have a story besides the MacGuffin that is given to you in the beginning. And as for how the city got you there, it's not really explained until way after when the credits roll. When the credits do roll, they give you a somber and warmly animated no dialogue story on how your grandfather helped build this city and what happened to him afterwards, and how it ties into the things you saw wandering around the city. So the game had a weak story, and kind of uninteresting characters, but that's all fine because they were clearly props for the main points of the game, which is its beauty and puzzles. But, as for the performance of the game, it took me 6 hours to beat it, and during that time I had a few glitches occur. One glitch, however, forced me to restart the game from the last checkpoint, and the puzzle in which you had to use Moe's code was also extremely frustrating because of my inability to use the mechanics they set in place. However, as far as I'm concerned, all of it is fairly negligible in the overall representation of the game. 
When it's all said and done, if all you're looking for is a beautiful point and click Zen game, the likes of which you've never seen before, then Lumino City is the game for you. Hey, thanks for watching. If you're interested in other indie games like this, you may want to subscribe to the channel. I try to put up a review bi-weekly. What's more, this channel is fairly new, so I could really use any support you can give. Alright, thanks again. Later. Thank <laughs> you.